What's up guys, just showing you my happiness studio right here, okay? And a topic that came up was the idea around sacrifice, okay? If you want to dig deeper into your purpose, you're going to sacrifice your life for something greater than you. This does not mean put yourself through unnecessary hardship, but it does mean that you're going to have to face the challenges and the struggles that are emerging. Let's get started with today's video. I'm gonna speak all about how to stop being aimless, stop aimlessly wandering, and get clear on what you're supposed to do in this lifetime. Let's get it. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumat Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach and I help you feel your best and perform your best. I'm sort of an alchemist, you know? I take emotions and I transmute them into something greater. Just like the gold that becomes the elixir of life that we can apply to our daily lives. I hope you're having an incredible day, man. Wherever it is that you're tuning in from, let me know in the comments where it is in the world that you're tuning in from. Today we're talking about a very, very fascinating topic. It's about finding our purpose. Finding, finding our, finding our purpose. purpose, okay? It sounds like such an overarching, like, looming thing, right? Like, you've got to have your purpose in life. If you don't have your purpose, you will be nothing, you will be nobody. Oscar, you cute, but you're a nobody. But I think because of that pressure or stress of having a purpose, we actually don't allow ourselves to explore anymore. To go into that discovery mode, right? That brainstorming flow state essence where you just let go and let the ideas, allow the ideas to come to you. I understand, man. I don't think curiosity killed the cat. I think it resurrected the tiger. I believe we do have a purpose. It is connected to our vision and something higher, a higher sense of reasoning, a higher sense of divine will. But at the same time, we have a choice in making meaning out of things. Life inherently does not have any such meaning, I don't think. I think we as people with the gift of interpretation, okay, see from a separate sense that we are seeking some purpose that is outside of us. You are your purpose. You exist here for a reason. You exist simply, the fact that you're alive, you have self-worth. The universe let you live another day, you see? And so stop overwhelming yourself, first and foremost. Stop like pressurizing yourself and overwhelming yourself like, I need to find my purpose, okay? And trust me when I say this too, I used to wander around aimlessly. I was a drifter, okay? I didn't know my purpose was to be this flow state catalyst. I didn't know. I had to go on a hero's journey. I had to leave the comfort of what I thought was true and real. Oh, you just have to get an internship and get a job. That's what I thought, okay? But then my ideas started to transform. My ideas started to change. I started to listen to all these different speakers and coaches and different people out there, you know, doing something big and really changing the world, you know, making an impact. I've started to realize now that my purpose is about humanity. It's not about me. It's not about my little old ego. My purpose is linked to something that is greater than the concept of I, of me. You get that? That's why I've dedicated my life to flow state. It's a concept. It's a state of mind. It's a beingness. It's a... ah. Right? It's like a glowing effervescent. You're just feeling on top of it, man. You're just tapped into the zone. You know what that feels like. I'm sure you do. At least once in your lifetime, you felt that deep, present joy, that mindfulness. It's almost like a mindfulness 10x, right? That's what it feels like. So if you're a drifter, and right now you're wandering around aimless, you're going from job to job, couch to couch, you know, surfing in the net, looking for something, you know, looking for job postings online. You'll attach to the seeking mentality. You have to spend at least a day for an hour, okay? Just exploring all the questions, all the unanswered questions that you want to know the answers to. Okay? That's what's going to kick it off. If you had to pay somebody to listen to them speak for an hour on a specific topic what would those topics be and there is one of your guidelines towards what your purpose could be and i'm saying could be because there's a lot of outside influences telling us 
oh, but, you know, your father was such a great, you know, salesman. Why don't you go into sales? Keep the family lineage running. By the way, guys, if you want more advice like this, okay, and you want to train with me for five days in a jungle with my business partner, Ryan G, we're going to guide you towards teaching you the art form of automatic speaking, freestyle shamanism, and flow state mysticism, okay? We are going to take you into your golden shadow archetype in that retreat, okay? So basically, we're going to help you lean into the fear of your own success, lean into the fear of your own greatness, what's really holding you back. That's what's going to be covered in that retreat. And it's just going to be a flow state getaway. You'll be able to, you know, you're stressed out, you're burnt out, you just want to get away from things. Come over to the retreat. You know, there's enough room for, well, we'll, we'll see, you know, how many, depending on how many people are interested. Uh, let's get started on this, man, because I, I'm really excited about, you know, showing up and giving you guys an immersive experience. Because, bro, you can sense my energy through my videos, but it's like, you fucking meet me in person, that's going to be a totally different experience. And my clients know that, right? They watch some of these videos, my clients. A lot of my clients watch my videos, actually. This is a different experience, right? Meeting me in person. Live and on the screen is very different. Very different experience, okay? But yeah, man, how cool would it be to go to the jungles of Costa Rica, right? Beaches, luxury, women, the finer things in life, you know? And you get to learn about flow at the same time. Now, again, I don't want you guys to have this attitude like, oh, this is a vacation. We're there for our spiritual work, number one. Vacation stuff? Oh, tourist photo stuff? Bro, that's secondary. That's secondary to the healing transformational deities on that island. Island boy. Now, what is the main issue? The issue becomes you've been lied to. The issue becomes you've been programmed to believe that this is my purpose. Okay? Other people have been trying to sway you in various directions instead of you connecting with your core authentic truth. Your internal resonance that you know there's like this weird intuitive thing that we all have, right? Where we kind of know without knowing. If you keep distrusting that voice of inner knowing, the voice of higher reason, and you keep going with the temptations, you keep going with, you know, the false and the fleeting and the illusory, how are you going to find your purpose? Because you have to first go from curiosity, then to your passion, then to your purpose. Everybody wants to skip to the end of the video game. Everybody wants to fast forward through the movie. Let yourself enjoy your journey. Let the movie ride out. Ride the waves. Surf this life a little bit. You're just getting crushed by the waves. Okay? It's time to gain some flow state wisdom and tools so you don't have to keep suffering. A lot of people are suffering in this life. Trying to seek for a purpose by doing something that is external to them and trying to fill this void. You can chase money as your purpose. I want financial freedom. I want this. It'll give me more reach. It'll give me more clarity. That's fine, man. But if you make money your only motivation, you're kind of going to falter at the money. Like, you're going to be rich, but you're going to be empty, okay? You're going to feel unfulfilled. You want to have a higher reasoning towards this thing. What are you really doing it for? What is the greater mission? Why? Why are you doing this, right? Figuring out your why, and then from there, crystallizing what is true to you. I used to be into everything, bro. I used to draw little comic strips. We used to have, like, Adam and Sumed's Comic Corner, I remember, when I was younger. Right, I used to draw these different characters, like a fat man and Blobbin or whatever. <laughs> I don't know, like I'd come up with these random characters, right? Tony Turzoni, I remember was one of them. But anyway, man, like I would create characters. That was what I was good at. And now look at what I do. I create characters, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like I help people realize their true higher selves, their authentic selves, right? That is me helping somebody create their own character in this movie that is your life. This is my theory. TPM, okay, get my book. You have a beginning, a middle, and an end. This is a film reel, a film strip of your life, right? Your entire timeline. How are you gonna live that thing? Are you gonna live it in, as a cameo, as a bystander? Or are you gonna actually learn to step in and stop shrinking so much? Again, you got to have ideas around meaning, right? Get the serotonin from the sunlight. Start to engage in books like Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl, okay? Start to look into what is meaning, okay? What is the meaning of life? 
the greatest question of all. Hey, there might be some over grand arching theme of like a universal meaning to our existence. What about the meaning that you're giving to your life? What about your internal, you know, choice, your agency? That's got to matter too. It's the allure and the agency. It is to get pulled and to do the pushing. It's both together. It's the discipline and the surrender. That is where the flow state lives. So a good indicator of your passion is your flow state. Now, as your flow state starts getting embodied and becoming more so your lifestyle, okay, now you just, let's say you're a professional dancer now. You've spent years and years drilling, 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 drilling. It's now in your muscle memory, it's in your bio memory. You've got it, man, right? Now, you can actually give towards a purpose. Why? Because you put in so much time into this one thing, and this is people's issues, right? If you, if you are actually drifting and you're going from engineering all the way to science and then from science to arts and then from arts to humanities, if you're hopping like that, you are leaving out the teachings that you gain from one because you would be able to be like this kind of uh, integrator. You know what's such a beautiful experience? When you finally find something that you are truly passionate about, and yes, you do kind of focus it back towards you. But if you start focusing on a concept right now that is greater than the self, that will stretch and expand thy self, okay? You are going to activate your flow state code, your flow state essence. Because the purpose is about giving back. The purpose becomes about contributing something. It's not the me, it's the we. It's the upward spiral gang. It's the flow tribe. It's the priest beast empire. It is all the people who are connected to this path working of primal sutra and flow state activation. It's all of you guys. You see, you are the ripple effect. As you've heard this video, you know, ultimately deep down what your purpose is. That's why it's called a calling, right? You gotta pick it up. You gotta pick it up phone, baby. You've got to pick up the call. You've got to answer the call from the universe. The universe is actually guiding you and pushing you towards these things by giving you the same lessons, right? It's trying to get you the same lesson through a different scenario for your character development. Have you noticed that? Because I have. This is a learning simulation this entire life. It is school. You're in earth school. But in order for you to graduate to a higher level, you're gonna have to put your all in. You're gonna have to put in and commit to living as the flow, embodying that. Okay, being passionate about what you're learning, not just kind of putting your brain through this mundane process day after day, trying to get me ends me, having people mistreat you, not stepping up, not providing a clean sense of your own boundaries and your self-worth, not getting the healing done, right? You're, you're going to falter and be aimless. You're going to be the lost soul, like they say in the Disney movie, Soul, right? You become so obsessed with something rather than making it your passion or you're just drifting. You're just going from one thing to another thing to another thing. Now I understood structure as a creative person was very, very important for me. To get to that objectivity and understand that to create a constraint around my process actually will help me to garner different ideas and show up at a different playing level. Because I want to show up with a higher level of performance. And I'm not just gonna, you know, sit back and watch. Fuck that. I'd rather be the greatest version of me possible. The word impossible is saying that I am possible. I exist here for a reason. I belong here for a reason. But I have to actually go on my hero's quest, my journey to figure myself out. But it's not like an escapism. Let me just go to India and I'll be enlightened and I'll come back to the world. Let me I'll stay in the mountains for a little bit and then I'll get out of the mountains and then I will be free. No, bro. That's not what I'm saying, okay? Yes, you can get away from the overstimulation of the modern culture. That's fine. You go on a little social media break, you take a break, you go on a vacation. That's fine, okay? I'm not saying that, but there's a lot of escapism in spirituality. There's a lot of escapism and bypassing, which is really a form of narcissism. It's another way that like, there's a lot of pseudo spirituality going on, you know, like it's not what you think it is, man. And as you go on your personal hero's journey, like 
my channeling journey and with these different beings and spirits and, and you know my activation of my spiritual powers like i am i've done this for a while right so i'm not new to this like i've been at this for a while and you guys have seen how i've transformed on my channel i am definitely not the same person okay i've been shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting and that's why you need to subscribe that's why you need to follow this channel because you want to be on this upward spiral this is what we're creating. This is what we're doing. And you're a part of this movement. And I say thank you. Kudos to you. I applaud you for being here. Thank you for humbling me with your graceful presence today. Truly, man. Now stop going trying to find your purpose and go live it. Go live your purpose, man. You got this. We got this. Upward Spiral Gang. May we never be the same again. Take care of yourself today. Us. We're all going to make it.